Hello students. In this video, I would like to discuss about the spherical polar coordinates. Now to begin with, let us take a Cartesian system. We have the coordinate axis and we consider a point Point P now we need an equivalent expression for the point P in terms of spherical polar coordinates. Now first we consider a radius vector r that is the line joining the origin with the point p. Let us drop a perpendicular from p to the xy plane. And we'll complete this figure. So we have, we'll call this distance, we'll call this distance as R. Now this would be the height Z. So if we, this is the X axis, Y axis and Z axis. The line segment OP makes an angle theta with the z axis. Now this angle theta will be between 0 and pi. The value of theta tells us about the position of the point with respect to the xy plane, whether the point is above the x axis, above the xy plane or below the xy plane. Now this angle phi will vary from 0 and 2 pi. Theta here is called the co-latitude And this would be the azimuthal angle. So we'll call this point as M. This would be A. This would be B. A M would be Y. This would be X. This would be Z. Now because PM parallel to Z axis, this implies angle OPM should be equal to theta. So this will be theta. 
So from the figure, or more precisely, from the triangle OPM, Z equal to R cos theta. Now we come to triangle A O M. Here A M is y equal to om sin phi and x equal to om cos phi. Now here we get om to be r sin theta. Therefore, y is r sin theta sin phi and x is r sin theta cos phi so we'll make a, we'll summarize this so we have x y and z z is r cos theta x is r sin theta cos phi and y is r sin theta sin phi. Now let us prove that Spherical polar coordinates is an orthogonal curvilinear system. For that, we have vector r, which is xi plus yj plus zk. So that is r equal to r sin theta cos phi i cap plus r sin theta sin phi j cap plus r cos theta k cap. Now one can verify that magnitude of r will be equal to r. Now to find the vectors, unit vectors e r, e theta and e phi. So we have E R cap to be one by H one do R by do R where H two H one is magnitude of do R by do R E theta is 1 by h2 dou r by dou theta h2 is magnitude of dou r by dou theta and e phi is one 
1 by h3 do r by do phi where h3 is magnitude of do r by do phi Now do r by do r will be sin theta cos phi i cap plus sin theta sin phi j cap plus cos theta k cap. So h1 will be square root of sin theta cos phi whole squared plus sin theta sin phi whole squared plus cos squared theta. So this will be h1 is square root of sin squared theta into cos squared phi plus sin squared phi plus cos squared theta which is equal to 1. Now the same way we need we need to find dou r by dou theta and dou r by dou phi. So ER will be sin theta cos phi i cap plus sin theta sin phi j cap plus cos theta k cap. Now do R by do theta will be R cos theta cos phi i cap plus R cos theta sin phi j cap minus R sin theta k cap. So H2 which is magnitude of dou r by dou theta will be square root of r squared cos squared theta cos squared phi plus r squared cos squared theta sin squared phi plus r squared sin squared theta. This is r into square root of cos squared theta into cos squared phi plus sin squared phi plus sin squared theta which simplifies to r.
so e theta will be cos theta cos phi i cap plus cos theta sin phi j cap minus sin theta k cap finally for e phi we require do r by do phi which is minus r sin theta sin phi i cap plus r sin theta cos phi j cap minus 0 plus 0 k cap now h3 is magnitude of do r by do phi which will be square root of r squared sin squared theta sin squared phi plus r squared sin squared theta cos squared phi so this is r sin theta into root of sin squared phi plus cos squared phi which is r sin theta therefore e phi will be minus sin phi i cap plus cos phi j cap now to prove that these three vectors are mutually orthogonal we need to show that the dot product is zero so we'll collect all these expressions So we have E R, E theta, and E phi. So we'll call it equations one, two, and three. This is one, two, and three. We need to show that the dot product of these three vectors taken as a pair will be equal to zero. Now to begin with e r dot e theta this will be sin theta cos phi cos theta sin phi plus sin theta sin phi cos theta sin phi minus cos theta sin theta this will be sin theta cos phi into I'm sorry about this. This has to be this has to be a cos phi. So 
So this will be sin theta cos theta into cos squared phi plus you get a sin squared phi from the second term minus cos theta sin theta which happens to be zero similarly e r dot e phi this will be sin theta cos phi into minus sin phi plus sin theta sin phi into cos phi which will be equal to zero and e theta dot e phi is cos theta cos phi into minus sin phi plus cos theta sin phi into cos phi which is again equal to zero since the three vectors are mutually perpendicular we say that the spherical polar coordinate system is mutually is an orthogonal curvilinear system 